Hi everyone, welcome to Take a Walk with Me and Garden Update. However, I have some birthday friend mail. Uh, I got a couple things here yesterday. There was so much going on with uh, Halloween and we had hauls and walk. I had walked through. If you see all the videos I had yesterday, I was just like, no, I can't. I, I just don't need to do another one. And uh, actually, I got several things going on today. Uh, I'm, that's why I consolidated this with this one a little bit before I go outside. So uh, the first thing I got was from uh, Joe from it's Joe Patchlick from Joe's Garden and Bees. That's uh, Joe's Garden and then the letter N, capital letter N, and then Bees. Uh, Y'all check out his channel. He's got a great channel. Uh, he's he's had some trouble this past year with his garden because he got COVID. So that really put him put him out for a while, and he wasn't able to attend to his garden. So uh, it was kind of a bust for him this year. But, uh, you know, we always talk about things with the garden, and we've been talking about what we could do this winter, you know, and, I, and about next spring already, you know, about uh, trying to start things from seeds instead of paying the, the price that you have to pay for ones that are this small, you know, when you go to the garden center. Uh, you know, I, I think I, I don't know how much I spent there last year, uh, uh, over well over a hundred dollars, uh, just to getting the little, just for the little, you know, plants that I bought. So we want to start things from seed. You know, I've got things out there right now that I'll show you from seed uh, that that look they're doing fine. But I was concerned about the tomatoes because when I've tried to grow them from seed and put them out here in the garage or something, they you can see the ones that's out there. They just grow real lanky. Uh, spindly you know and they just never do really produce like the ones you saw me have this year that I that I bought already started so um the, he he said you know the way to do it is you have to have a light a good light to get them you know to where they are sturdier you know not as not as a uh, wimpy and uh we'd also talked about like in the winter uh growing lettuce and microgreens microgreens you could grow really fast and have some really good th good for you for salads and things and you know white wraps and all kinds of stuff and he's been sending me pictures and uh, i've watched some videos of his you know from the past where he's done this so so joe sent me a light so and I'm so thankful. I appreciate this so much, Joe. And I'm gonna—I'm definitely gonna be uh, taking advantage of having this and, and growing all the things we've talked about. So here it is. I guess that's Vivo Sun Full Spectrum LED Grow Light. There's what it looks like. <coughs> and this thing is nice. So. Look forward to, uh, I look forward to using this and growing the microgreens and stuff in the winter time. And then any plants I want to start for spring, I can get them going. And then, you know, I'll take them outside when it's nice out and bring them back in and this and that. You know, it's a little work, but it'll be worth it, you know. Uh, so I'm excited about doing this myself, being more self-sufficient for my garden needs instead of paying the the price that you have to pay and it's 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 higher this it was higher this year than it was previous years i guess because of covid and i imagine next year will be even worse so so do things on your own you know if you can okay but i appreciate that again joe i, I was really uh, surprised it's so nice it really is and uh, anyway so i got another package i mean i got both these packages i was like wow you know i get excited i always have ever since i was little uh, to get a package in, in the mail and uh, so anyway this one is from flower child and y'all all know her she comments on every every video and uh, <coughs> she's a good friend of ours so i got this box and the first thing in it she knows how i like the truck because if you've seen the truck picture i don't have a light on in there in the foyer you see that truck picture on the wall there? She sent me that last year. But I got this from her. And she's got a note on the back of it. To Michael Cairns, happy birthday from your YouTube subscriber friend, 
Chippy, a.k.a. Flower Child. So I'm going to put that up probably in here so we can see it. My, you could probably see it beside that other one up there. Maybe I could put it up there above the door there. I'll see. I'll have it up here. I'll get it up. And then I was really <coughs> surprised about this. Look, y'all. I think I'll take a picture with this one. Oh, because that's harder to hold up and take a picture. Oops, I had it crooked. And I got my finger on. Yeah. So, but anyway, this is a this is a blanket, y'all. I mean, it's not just like a little... I mean, it's bigger, I think, than a throw. <laughs> but I didn't, you know, I haven't unfolded it yet. Because I didn't want to mess it up to show y'all. But, <clears throat> yeah... I imagine that's the theme of it. Let's see what's, there's a house here. The house and the truck. I'm trying not to get it all. I imagine that it has the, probably somewhere on this is the truck, the full truck and the house there. Yeah, if you do it this way. But I like this so much. And it is so soft. There we go. <clears throat> I love it. I, I love it, Fly Child. I, I really do. And I will be using that this winter for sure. Might need it soon, the way it's cold as it's getting. But uh, I was really, I mean, I, it was all I could do not to go ahead and and do a video, but I was like, you know, I better just wait till tomorrow. I, would, I don't know how many videos I had yesterday. It was part of it was jib jabs. That was the last day I could use jib jabs, and there was still some real funny ones left. So I wanted to get some of them in. And actually, there was another one I wish I could have put on YouTube that it would only let me do for Facebook, and I didn't even end up doing it. But it was uh, about Frankenstein running for president. <laughs> I don't know if it's still available even or not. I may put it out on Facebook or something today just to, because <laughs> it was really funny. So, so anyway, I appreciate uh, you all, Joe and, and Kippy. I appreciate that so much. Um, and uh, I was really surprised. So, uh, Once again, everybody, I'm going to go on outside now. So I'll see you in just a minute. I didn't think about, I usually have it turned the other way when I'm out here, the, the camera, instead of having it like face me. So I'm gonna have to do it this way out here too, cause I'm afraid, I don't, there's no way it uh, shows to switch it here. I think you can flip it or something, but I don't wanna mess the video up. If I do something to it, it's probably stop or delete it or something crazy. So anyway, today's Sunday, November 1st. Current temperature is 51, high is 58 today. Rain chance 80%. It's already been raining a little bit. Uh, so I'm not feed, filling those feeders. They got the suet out there that they can eat. Uh, humidity is 92%, winds nine miles per hour. It's a little windy. Air quality is 46, that's in the good range. Uh, I'll have, a, like I said, uh, I don't know if I said it earlier, I'll have the Kroger and Dollar General Hall today. I got a Dollar General walkthrough that's 90% Christmas stuff. They got a ton of Christmas stuff in. So you definitely want to check that one out. And everybody's got a Dollar General, I believe. Uh, time allowing, I'll, I'll, have, I'll be able to do it. Ask my tablet. I, I only lack something like three or four questions or something like that. But I wasn't able to do that yesterday anyway, you know. And today, if I have time allowing, I'll go ahead and do that. If, I, if I'm too tired or there's something going on this evening, I'll just have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, that, that's it. That's all my notes. So, get rid of drinking my coffee. I got my, I'm still using my tumbler that Diane Parker sent me. I love it. It really keeps it warm. So I'm going to have to turn this to, to show the garden. I'll have to turn this around. So let's do that. 
Let's see. Yeah, it's breezy out there. I might have to. Matter of fact, I'm gonna uh, zip up my my coat here. And if I didn't say it, I showed it earlier. But here's my uh, shirt that Joy got me yesterday. The flannel shirt. It's really soft. I love it. So let me zip up my coat. My legs are sore from all the walking I did yesterday, but that's a good thing. Uh, I believe everybody's fine out here. I'm just going to go quickly over everything. See, I, I wasn't able, I didn't, uh, it was so late and I forgot about covering the stuff up. I'm not used to doing that and so I didn't get, it didn't get covered up and it looks like it's okay. Anyway. But I don't think it got as cold as it was supposed to. Turnips are looking great. It won't be long. I'd say some of these might even be ready. But you notice these ones aren't doing as good. They don't get the full sun that these do because of these peppers around them. So you can see what a difference that makes. I mean, they'll grow. But they don't look like these. They don't look as robust as these do. Collards. That's a radish right there. But I don't know how it got over there. <clears throat> the mustards aren't doing much back there. I don't know why. Probably because they're under the awning. They don't get, it's drier back there. As you can see, it gets wet up to where the awning is, and then it's dry back there. I need to get some greens. I need to get those two turnips back there. We need to have some greens. And you know what? I don't know what we're having for dinner tonight. I don't remember. I think it was uh, Japanese or like, you know, uh, jasmine rice and... Uh, those egg rolls and uh, orange chicken. Uh, either orange or teriyaki, I don't know. Probably orange. Everybody looks okay out here. Collards are doing good. There's a big banana pepper. It's only one on that one. So, it's about destroyed out there where the flowers are at the rock. That one's still alive. Marigolds look good. They look fine. Matter of fact, some of those bulbs are starting to grow now. Since they're getting enough sun. Eventually, you know, the cold's gonna get all the flowers. Hello. There's a hawk up there. I love it when it's windy. I'll stop for a second. I don't know how good y'all can see it up there. It's pretty high up. They just glide around in this wind. I imagine it's fun for them. Plus they can see, you know, they can still see a daggum little bitty mouse or something move. And they will, I have actually seen one of them do a dive before. But it, it came out of the dive before it actually caught whatever it was. They can dive down on something and they won't know what hit them. There's two of them now. That one's bigger. Oh yeah, that one's bigger. Now I know why there's no birds. Here, it's coming right over me, both of them. Isn't that something how it just sits and floats? Amazing. It's, a, it's just, I like watching them. But yeah, they can just dive down on something that won't know what hit them. Don't hear, they won't hear anything, you know, or anything. They'll just be right on it. Where'd that other one go? Oh, that's way up there now. 
Oh goodness. That one's way up in the clouds almost. Wow. I imagine they love that. You can't even see them. Where'd it go? Oh, it's so far up, it was in the clouds. That's crazy. How fast they can get, you know, get from one place to another. And all of a sudden, they're gone. Are they so high up that they're in the clouds? Are? That's one is way over that way. I see it now. So I hope y'all had a good Halloween last night with your family and friends. <clears throat> there was a couple parties around here last night. Across the street there was a bunch of cars. I don't know how you could keep from being too close to each other inside of a house like that when there's like 20, 30 people. But, you know, that's just, if, you're, if someone's okay with having that many over right now, that's fine. It's, it's, I just can't imagine it, you know. I would be, I would be so paranoid that I would get something, you know, get COVID. But I imagine, you know, you're gonna have to have, you'd have to have your your uh, mask on in the house and everything. I don't know. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'd have my forehead thermometer thing out. Like you do if you have to go to the doctor or anything. I mean, that's the first thing I do. Well, we got one of them things now, you know. And I got it through that health benefits thing. And by the way, I'm supposed to have a big order for Logan coming. And I haven't heard anything about it yet. But, but yeah, you know, I'd have that thing out and checking temperatures. They might not like it, though, if they came over here. I have the hand sanitizer by the door, gloves. <laughs> Well, everybody, I guess that's going to be it for now. I gotta, I'm gonna do some things around here, and eat some breakfast, and then I'll start get started on everything. So, uh, be looking for that Dollar General walkthrough. I think it'll be a really good one because they, like I said, I took a ton of pictures of Christmas stuff, uh, so you'll be able to see what they got. All right, everyone, please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with everybody you know. Okay, everybody. I will see you later on. God bless.